The iStar P Service PBX now supports WhatsApp for omni-channel messaging. You can integrate your WhatsApp business platform with P Service PBX, so all your WhatsApp messages can be received and dealt with from Linkus UC client. Therefore, integrate multiple digital channels into one unified interface. With the integration, we do not only support text message, but also emojis, images, and files. So if you're interested in trying out this feature, please get our free trial from the link in description. Okay, in this video, we'll guide you through the configuration process so you can follow us and realize the integration. First of all, please make sure that your PBX matches the following requirements. And as for the WhatsApp, you need to make sure that you have a WhatsApp business platform and in the meanwhile, prepare a co-responding Meta Developer and Business Manager account. Now let's begin. For the first step, we need to create a Meta app on Meta Management Portal. Let's log in and go to My Apps. Then we create an app and select Others. Then in Type, we choose Business. Then we click into Details and make sure that all the information is precise according to the associated business. Then we click on Create App. In Add Products to your app, find WhatsApp and go to Set Up. Here we will be redirected to Quick Start page, find API Setup. Here we need to firstly go to the select phone numbers and in the drop down list, find the number we want to use to receive messages. Then note down the phone number ID. When everything's down, go to App Settings. And in Basic, copy the app secret. All these info will be used later to verify the integration on the PBX. Now the app is created. We go on to create an admin system user. We move to Meta for developers portal and go to App Dashboard and find Business Settings. Then on the Business Settings page, go to Users and find System Users. Here we click on Add to create a system user. We can define a name for the user and assign admin role to this user. Then we click to create. Now we find this user and click on Add Assets to grant full control to this user to manage app. Then we go to Accounts and WhatsApp Accounts. Here we click on Add People to grant manager permission of WhatsApp to the newly created admin user. Now we click Assign. And we continue in System Users. And Generate Access Token. Here we select the app we created in the previous step and assign this token to it. Select these two options, then click on Generate. Now the token is created, copy it for the next step. For now, we can connect WhatsApp to our PBX, log into the PSERVICE PBX admin interface and go to Messaging. Here we click on Add and select WhatsApp. Then we can name this channel and put in the access token and secret we obtained from the previous steps. Now we need to copy the webhook URL and verify token, which will be used to create webhook connection between PBX and WhatsApp in the next step. Then we put in the number we selected in the first step, as well as the phone number ID. Lastly, we select an extension to receive messages from this WhatsApp account. Then all settings are down. Click Save and go on. For the final step, we need to configure webhook connection in Meta. Log into Meta for developers. And in My Apps, find app we created. Then go to WhatsApp and Configuration. Here we click on Edit and paste the webhook URL and verify token from the last step. Then click on Manage and select Messages to subscribe this webhook field. Then click on Down. Now the configuration is over we can go to the PBX admin portal to check the channel status. And now we can receive WhatsApp message in Linkus UC client. So that was how we configured this integration. Hope you guys like it. And I will catch you guys in the next one.